Meditation for Healing and Closure After a Breakup Hello and peace to you as you begin this healing journey through the loss of your relationship. I know that this is a trying time for you. Brilliantly happy some moments but devastating at others and that you may be feeling emotionally raw. As we begin this meditation, do not push yourself through any emotions that arise and do not force yourself to resolve whatever hurt you may be carrying within the span of this meditation. Instead, be gentle with yourself and trust in the infinite wisdom of the universe. Know that I and billions of other people in this world have experienced some version of what you are feeling and we surround you with love and compassion in this trying time. Let your eyes close gently. You are standing in a valley surrounded by sandstone cliffs and an endless expanse of blue sky. The sun has just risen and a delicate veil of dew is just rising off the cactus plants and scrubby trees nearby. Far in the distance you hear the cry of an eagle. The air is crisp against your skin and smells of wet sand and morning blooming wildflowers. As far as you can see, the soft outlines of hills and canyons crisscross the turquoise of the sky. A timeless landscape that has touched and supported many people's lives. No matter how empty or desolate this landscape may seem, or that you may feel, underneath its facade, this desert place is teeming with life and possibility. At the centre of this valley stands a tall wooden frame, and stretched between the beams is a hand-woven blanket. In the faint morning sun, you can see that it is made up of many different colours and textures of yarn, but that even colours that would normally clash play together harmoniously. Let yourself walk towards it, noticing new detail that emerge as you grow closer. As you approach, something seems unusual about the blanket. Thousands of loose strands of yarn are hanging off the edges, fluttering lazily in the wind illuminated from the back by the rising sun. You move closer, and more of the pattern of the blankets becomes apparent. It is far more intricate than you first believed, and although the colour changes and shapes seem random, you can see now that everything works together to create a masterpiece. At the foot of the frame lies a small wooden box with an intricately carved lid. You flip open the latch and lift the top to find inside only a blunt sewing needle and a sharp pair of scissors. It is then that you realize that this blanket represents you, your feelings and dreams. The strings fluttering at the edges of the cloth are strands that were broken when you and your significant other pulled apart. Although they may look torn, they are not worthless and in fact represent growth and experiences that you may not have even realized you possessed. 
You are here now to weave the loose ends back into the blanket, strengthening the fabric and adding to the exquisite detail of the pattern. Use them to patch yourself up, mending the worn spots with the things you have a taste for now, the lessons he or she taught you. Bring these experiences into yourself as you weave in the threads of the blanket and smile with the knowledge that you have changed, grown more vibrant. Know that you too have imparted new embroidery on your significant other's blanket 
and that your time together has brought new colors, new patterns to both your lives. Although this is a time where your soul may hurt and your heart ache, it is a time for you to acknowledge your own gradual transformation, to fully realize and step into your own personal metamorphosis. It is a time of mourning, but a time of awakening. Be gentle with yourself as you work through these thoughts and memories. You do not need to focus on why you broke up or whether you are good enough because it does not matter. You are enough. You are more than enough. You are kind, patient, funny and infinitely loving divine goodness incarnate. You do not have to be perfect to be lovable, and you, and those who love you, know that it is your mistakes that are the seeds for wisdom, understanding, and even more love. The universe is an endless sea of opportunities for love and companionship. And you must trust that the pain you feel now will bring you to a new plane of understanding and vitality, transforming you into a beacon of solace, strength and deep love for anyone who meets you. The world will never run out of love and neither will you. There will always be more than enough for everyone, yourself included.
as you weave the loose ends of your blanket in, you may find qualities or pastimes that your previous lover liked that you have learned to love. Perhaps he or she had a knack for making you feel comfortable in any situation. Perhaps she was already with an encouraging word. When you weave these strands of yarn into your own blanket, you find ways to bring these qualities within yourself. To develop those aspects of yourself that you admired in your significant other. Maybe he instilled in you a love for smooth jazz or surfing. Perhaps she introduced you to the pleasures of craft beer or shuffleboard. Some of these experiences may have been sparks for a personal passion, and others may be simply reminders of good times you shared together. If you have a true interest in something you learned over the past weeks, months or years, weave it into your blanket, giving yourself permission to like what you now like. If it does not feel right for this activity or characteristic to become an integral part of you, simply thank it for its time and effect on your life, and then trim it quickly, deftly, with your scissors. This is your healing, and you must decide what lessons and experiences you want to keep and develop, and which you will leave by the wayside. Allow yourself the time now to finish repairing your blanket, sewing in the loose threads that you like and trimming those that do not fit with the pattern of colours of your blanket. Be gentle with yourself and feel the compassion and love of the universe surround you as you move through this time. <laughs>